Don't believe everything you see online. Hello, all of my fabulous, beautiful people, and how are you all doing today? I hope that you're all doing very, very well today. We just have to interrupt our regular programming for a minute because I need to talk a lot about what is going on with On Passive. There has been an article released again by the College Times. Everyone keeps on telling me about it. And by everyone, I mean those that are in on passive because they seem to think that this proves something in terms of being sports and on passive. So we just need to interrupt our regular programming and I need to take a minute to go over what this actually means because you cannot believe every single article that you read on the internet to be true. I mean, have you ever heard of The Onion? So without further ado, I'm going to roll the intro and then we're going to get right into it. I'm going to make it quick, sweet, to the point. my community tab today I shared a person that was going off on me in my comment section for literally the entire night and day yesterday I have had a few others come and comment to me who are in on passive telling me that I am absolutely insane to say that they are not going to be showing during the World Cup and that they are not sponsoring be in sports or partnered with them and whenever they do this they seem to revert back to this article and so i want to go over the article i want to go over who runs this lovely website and i want to just talk about what that all means for a moment because this does not at all mean that ash mufara is telling the truth so first and foremost i just want to point out to you guys that the only the only article in the news about on passive and being sports being partnered together is by the Kalish Times, as you can see. And then when you go over here and you look at all, because I was in the news section before, it's all just people. Well, I mean, behind MLM here, our friends at Behind MLM obviously did an article about it. And then other than that, it is all just people who are in on passive. Ian Sports has not released anything about this whatsoever. They have not come out at all and stated that they are in a partnership. It is all just people from on passive, the Kalish Times, and then of course our friends at BehindMLM.com being like, uh, no, actually this isn't happening. So here we have the article that was released by the Kalish Times on passive and be in sports and a first ever partnership. Now, you may may remember the Kalish Times because they are the ones that also did that amazing article about how Ash Bufara was going to change Dubai that both Alonda and myself have read on our streams and so you know that they really really like on passive on passive a software development company that builds fully autonomous SAAS products using the latest AI software technologies for global customers has entered into a partnership with B in sports to become one of the main key sponsors of streaming the world's biggest sporting event in Qatar um now here it says that they build it, but remember, they haven't built anything yet. The collaboration was established through Promofix, the sole advertising sales representative in the MENA region and a digital subsidiary of Lebanon-based J Group, the UEFA Champions League, and... La Liga are two of the biggest sporting events and are being exclusively broadcasted by BN Sports, the largest sports channel network in the region. 
Yeah, again, so why would they partner with OnPassive, a company that has done nothing? Ashmu Farah, founder and CEO at OnPassive, said, We promised our founders, and, uh, as always, we over-delivered. Qatar's massive football festival is one of many, uh, I uh international, uh, events on passive is planning to be a part of. We are preparing to uh, de deploy some of the most robust and creative marketing campaigns ever done by a business uh, in any sector. We will just keep winning. Like, I had to read it like he would say it. Recently, on Passive opened its new headquarters in the UAE, with the launch being publicized with an outdoor marketing effort that began at the Burj Khalifa, where their offices are located and spanned across Dubai's well-known neighborhoods. Again, they are still claiming offices, but on the bottom of the website, as I have proven before, they only list one office in the Burj Khalifa, and Ash has yet to tell everyone what happened to the other one. Our business is focused on developing and executing cutting-edge AI technology solutions and IT development services that can accommodate different business sizes. Users of our solutions will be equipped with cutting-edge technology to fend off competition from big international corporations. Notice it's all in future tense. We are developing a number of innovative items with artificial intelligence, engineers, data scientists, and research lab personnel are inventing ways that improve corporate productivity. The product's innovative design and fun foundation technology provide multi-level uh, automation. Yeah, they just claim that they're not a multi-level marketing company. Enabling unmatched digital transformation. Every business needs artificial intelligence, but uh, not every uh, co company has the resources to develop, maintain, and benefit from AI internally. All businesses not only the biggest ones can use AI, said Mufara. Thanks to OnPassive, the efficiency, profitability, the profitability and productivity of their businesses increase as a result of linking and harnessing the power of their data to support humans at work. He added, On Passive will be a part of a program that includes TV engagement opportunities, brand awareness, and visibility across all BN Sports channels. Access to all 64 matches, over 70 million TV subscribers, and more than 40 million social media fans and followers after joining the roster with the global media giant. Unpassive is an AI technology-based ecosystem which is trusted by more than 1 million founders from more than 200 countries, even though there aren't even 200 countries, I'm just saying, and the offices are located in four main regions around the world to influence the global economy and automate the digital solutions. For more details, visit www.onpassive.com. So, uh, that's the big article here uh, that they keep on saying proves to all of us that on Passive and Being Sports are partnered together. A little bit of a problem with this. You see, my issue with this is that, like a lot of media sites, this is just kind of your run-of-the-mill people just opened up uh, a website and called it the College Times, but they are not a so-called publication that I would go to in order to get my news. Let me show you what I mean. This is 
the main landing page here. As you can see, they do several different kinds of articles. It seems to be one of those news article websites, right? Where anyone can sign on and just sort of write articles for it. They also post from other places. So it's not all their people that are writing for this website. I mean, they do a lot, a lot of articles on this thing, but it's a little bit of everything as you'll notice. And it's funny to me because when you come down here to sports, it isn't like on passive and the World Cup being sports stuff is on the main page even. So, I mean, how proud of it are they? Looks like your run-of-the-mill media website. I mean, check out the people that they're kind of like associated with. They're all just kind of like the online media for that area. Now, if you look here, you will see that this website is run by Gallardi Printing and Publishing LLC. The heck is that, you ask? I'm glad you did. So, of course, I went and looked it up, and it says, Gallardi Printing and Publishing is a media company based in Dubai, UAE, as we knew. It publishes the English language newspaper, Khalij Times, and is owned by the conglomerate Gallardi Brothers, Suhail Gallardi and Brothers. And then, of course, you'll notice that there's, there is a whole, the Gallardi family in Dubai. So now, who are they? The Gallardi family is number 43 on the rich list, which I didn't know that existed, but here we are. And this is a whole family of wealth in Dubai that run several businesses. So this here says, fueled initially by the entrepreneurial vision of the late Abdul Rahim E. Gallardi, the late Abdul Latif E. Gallardi, and the late Abdul Wahab E. Gallardi in the early 1960s. As Gallardi Brothers Group, the next generation created a new wave of companies. It was from this generation that another three brothers created the Ilias and Mustafa Gallardi Group started by Ilias and Mustafa Gallardi. Huh, who knew? As well as Gallardi Investment Office, formed by their younger brother, Rashid A.W. Gallardi. The Gallardi's wealth is largely invested in real estate, including City of Arabia, a 20 million square foot plot on the Emirates Road. The land is earmarked for the Mall of Arabia, a project that will see the Gallardi's build the largest and most expensive mall in the world. The brothers' other assets include manufacturing concerns, a major taxi firm, a driving school, restaurants, hotels, and Sunseeker Yachts Middle East. Finally, Rashid A.W. Gallardi's GIO Holding Group, which has designs on becoming the world's preeminent luxury holding company, has a global license to develop real estate and hospitality projects in a joint venture with Gianfranco Fair, the Italian couture fashion house. Again, this family here is one of those families that for generations have been just running businesses all over the place. But they're mainly in real estate, so one might ask, why are they doing this magazine? Well, for money. They get paid for the ads that would be displayed on that website, and therefore, why not just open that as well and run it? But I don't think that they know much about IT tech and I'm unsure of who they have hired to work for this place. Like I said, when I was looking into it, it seemed to be the type of thing where almost anyone that writes an article could be featured in the Khalij Times. And once again, that is the only place where On Passive and BN Sports is featured. What is very sus about this, if you will, is the fact that BN Sports has not at all announced this partnership. If it was such a big partnership, as everyone in On Passive and Ash Mufara over there is saying, why hasn't BN Sports come out? and announced it. Time is ticking, and they would have done so already if it was true. 
all of the other links to the on passive information about this come from people who are in on passive and who know Ash Mufara and therefore they're manipulated by this man and then we cannot believe them because everyone that's manipulated by this man seems to think that whatever comes out of his mouth is just the truth and we have proven over and over again that that is not the case it is weird to me that the only people that are talking about this are people in on passive again being sports has not announced this partnership and I do not think that they ever will. And because of that, I do strongly believe, the recovering Hunbot strongly believes, most of the other people that are covering on passive that I've seen strongly believe, as well as the Behind MLM website strongly believes, along with Tina, who strongly believes, that this is all made up. This is a distraction, and a lie that he is telling everyone to keep them engaged in this company after he failed them all again by not releasing the nine products by the end of August and then kind of forgetting about the three that were supposed to be released here in September. Please do not fall for Ash's bullcrap. There are actually more articles on the internet that are stating that Ash and B in sports are not partnered and that they won't be featured at the World Cup, then there are saying that he will be. Again, the only people saying that are people that are all connected to on passive. I have reason to believe that some of the people that are writing for the College Times are in on passive as why else would they even know about this? Just think about that. So I just had to come on here and just kind of interrupt our regular programming for a moment. I am still doing the video that I had planned for today, but I wanted to let everyone know not to really believe the Kalish Times when they're talking about on passive. Don't believe everything you see online! Again, I have reason to believe that the person writing the article is in on passive, and I'll get back to you if I find out more about that. So, Please do give this a like, subscribe if you are new here. I would love it if you joined our fabulous, amazing members, all of the beautiful people do. And you don't want to be ugly like the person that wrote me all those mean comments and then got mad because he broke terms of service with several of them so then YouTube didn't even put them on the site. And then he said that I was still eating comments when I wasn't. I was sleeping. So make sure you hit that join button, and no matter where you are or what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous day, and I'm going to see you all very, very soon, hopefully, with another video about crypto scams. Take care. Mwah. Bye. And don't believe everything that you read on the interwebs. Guys, I have very important news. It's huge. It's crazy. It's unbelievable. It's... Oh, stop it. Just tell us, Royce Bedoys. You guys ready for this? Unicorns are real. <clears throat> you can't believe everything you see online.